Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is of course the April 2022 update posted in May. <laughs> uh, happy birthday to me. I just turned 42 back on the 27th. So uh, there's been that going on. I'm Before I really get started and showing off what I got this month, and it is quite a bit uh, compared to other months, or at least to me it is. Um, I have to apologize. I've been, as you know, I've been trying to go through my collection and show off what I have bit by bit, kind of, of, uh, narrowing it down to brand names or, or the types of things that I've been collecting. I've been taking a break for the, for the past month, uh, month of April, uh, because there's just been a lot going on. Um, you know, we, of course, uh, of course I've got work that's been kind of topsy turvy. Um, I have, I've been watching a lot of Disney Plus stuff with my roommate at, in the evenings, on the weekends, and of course, I think more importantly, what has really sapped up a good portion of my time is the movie. Of course, the movie came out on April 8th. I actually got to see it at the fan event on April 6th, um, and, and theater crowd at that, at that showing, I'm not going to say where it is, please, I, I'm seeing all of these re fan reactions on the internet to different key scenes of the movie and the, the theater going wild. Dead silence. My theater was dead silent, and it was a packed theater. Why? Why did I have to go to one of the few dead theaters uh, as far as fan excitement? This should have been a... Th oh, well, whatever. But um, as of this recording, as of this video... I've seen the movie seven times, um, and uh, <laughs> it, should it be playing again this weekend, we're looking at the potential of hitting it ten times, which was my goal. I the movie is just that good, and I really wanted to support it. I had a feeling that it was going to be a movie that went over very, very well, and indeed has, judging by the box office, it's still going strong. I would be very shocked that they didn't put it, uh, keep it out at least for another week, uh, which benefits me. So we'll, we'll, we'll see where that goes. But, but, without further ado, excuse me, here is the April 2022 update to my Sonic the Hedgehog collection. So, obviously, went to the fan uh, showing of the movie, and I was, I'm trying to keep this sucker as nice as possible, but I did get that awesome print by Tyson Heese, and I'm a little upset, not at this particular one, obviously I have it, I'm a little upset because there was... A, another one that was given away at the fan event um, that was happening at Cinemark. I went to the AMC, and I really wanted that poster, too. So I'm probably going to have to fight uh, somebody on eBay for that. Um, and I'm also equally irritated. So apparently, I think it was um, Easter weekend, Tyson had put out yeah, another print uh, for the movie. And I went to, I was always going to go to see the movie at, at uh, AMC uh, theaters in my local mall that day anyway. But it was a nice little extra that I was really looking forward to. And they didn't have it. They didn't even, they're, they're trying to tell me they didn't even know about it. And it, I, I don't know if this meant it was supposed to go to select theaters or it, or the box got intercepted by someone. I don't know. Or, or they, or somebody, um, somebody at that particular location is dishonest and and made off with the box. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's not the latter because I, I hate thinking about people being dishonest. So no, well, I, you know, I didn't get it. I might have to go online to see if I can find it. Hopefully, it comes in good condition if I do find it. Um. But unfortunately, I missed out on that one. I also wanted that nice, uh, like I said, the knuckles, the one that was half knuckles, half uh, half Sonic, and uh, you know. And fortunately, that just wasn't the one that was uh, given at my theater. That was given at another company's theater. Unfortunate, but whatever. It's getting warm. 
we're starting to warm up a little bit, so my room's getting a little hotter than normal. Um, so, of course, with that, I, uh, which I have not opened this, I was hoping it was that prequel comic, but I don't think, I don't believe it to be. No, it's not really a prequel comic, but I got the, uh, I got that IDW Sonic comic, uh, that, um, was put out, the one shot that was put out for the fan event. Um, I wasn't impressed with it, honestly. I thought it was kind of dry, but you know what? It was a free thing, and uh, okay, it's in my collection now. Whatever. Um, so that's not it with movie merch, though. Um, I was able, uh, if, I, if I can do this without everything falling off like it almost did. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I have a little bit. Let's see. Let me... No, I'll save that for the small stuff, because I'm going to point the camera down later and show the saw stuff. So, we we ate pretty good as uh, collectors for this movie, and I went out of my way to find this. I saw it posted online. I started seeing it in some, what, a couple of the collection groups that I'm in, and I had to have it. I had to have it in my collection, and I, and I found it. It was at my local Target, and they were... I, I brought. I went down there immediately. They had like five left. Couldn't find it in the aisles. They they were keeping it in the back, and I I think uh, this was so that people who wanted to uh, either buy them out so they could resell them at a higher scalpers, basically, or one of the two more likely ones, in my opinion, because I know the area I live in, and we tend to have a very high shoplifting problem. Um, I know the store that I work at, we had a bunch of kids come in and just grab whole candy boxes, candy bar boxes, and run out the door with them. So we have a kind of a big shoplifting problem in my area, unfortunately, uh, or in the area that my target exists in. And uh, they were keeping them in the back, and I think that was a big part of the reason why. But I know, you're like, what the heck is it? I got that awesome three-costume uh, shot of Sonic uh, at various points in the movie, and I absolutely love this um, for several different reasons that I'm not going to go into here. But this was a neat little collection. I absolutely love them. I don't have the heart to take them out of the box. Because they look just so good in there by on their own, so I'm I, I, it's just like I'm I'm impressed. Uh, whoops, I'm impressed. All right, so I gotta find places to set this set these down. Um, so that bigger one, I've got I've got more movie stuff, but it is a it is smaller stuff. So I'm going to hold on. And do that toward the end with the camera pointing down. Um, and then at my local, uh, oh, you know what? I don't need to wait for a moment. So <laughs> there's a Build Bear in my mall, and I did actually get the Build Bear Sonic. I missed the last one for the first movie, but I got that Build Bear, and I even vowed, or uh, 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 vowed, um, sprung for the sounds because I think they're probably going to go away. I didn't get Tails or Knuckles. Uh, not because I didn't want them, I do want them, but they were, they were sold out, actually, ah, itchy, they were sold out allergies, um, by the time I got to them, by the time the, the check that I wanted to buy them on, uh, hit, um, so I only was able to get this, they had a huge, huge surplus of it at the time, I don't know if they're sold out now, but that don't matter, I have it, um, and I sprung for the sound, um, so I'm going to go, so, I don't know why, let me see, I don't know if you guys can hear this. Which I thought was a really cool scene. It was short, but it was fun. I think this looks good. That was a good action scene. That was a boat scene. Man, I'm glad I got this. Um, it's it's really adding to my plush collection. I have to do a little rearranging back here and over there, and now over there, 
to um, display it all properly, but I'm glad I got this. I would have liked to get Tails and Knuckles, too, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we'll put you on my crochet, the nice soft landing. Um, let's see. Okay. And then in my uh, Tokyo store that I love to talk about all the time because they just have so much. Uh, sometimes they're dry, but a lot of times they have a lot of Sonic stuff. Um, I found this uh, really neat little backpack. I would use this as like a uh, – so I'm not going to use it, but uh, if I were to use it, I'd use it on like a plane uh, to carry on or something like that. But this is a neat little backpack. Uh, that I found, and I have finally figured out where I'm going to put these little small ones as they, as I come across them. Um, I wouldn't use this for a school, but this is an accessory innovation item. So uh, we got that. Um, I got that. I actually found out a friend of mine. Well, actually, I actually knew he lived nearby, but he had moved from another area of the country. Uh, here and he did not know that I was like 10 minutes away from him. I didn't know he was that close either. I knew he had moved into the area because I think a lot of us, what we do is when we move from out of state into an area, we'll say we're from the next biggest city um, that's closest to us so that we, you know, say, hey, like I'll tell people I live in Seattle. I don't. Um, and he does the same thing. So, um, we both got one of these, uh, when we saw them, they were actually kind of dry otherwise that day. That was, uh, this, that was the second time that I saw the movie. Second time? Second time. Fan event? Yeah, that Sunday. Second time. So we ended up getting this. So... And I'm, I'm always impressed with what uh, they come out with, because it's always pretty good quality. I, you know, them and, and Great Eastern Entertainment. Um, so, still on the kick from um, uh, Accessory Innovations. Now I, well, that's fun. I just knocked down some of my stuff. Ah. Uh, Give me one second, guys. Okay. As I was saying, um, another item that I found from Accessory Innovations, and I've actually been after this for a long, long time. If you've seen my Accessory Innovation uh, video, you'll know that I have a lot of their backpacks. And one backpack I didn't have was Knuckles. The place I would go to, I'm, I'm actually kind of scared to order those particular backpacks online because I never know if they're going to come in and be the actual product or be some kind of bootleg. I know there's a lot of collectors that don't mind bootlegs. I'm not one of them. I do not like to have bootlegs if I can at all uh, avoid it. I want to have items that are official and sanctioned by the, I know that's a big word, sanctioned by the company, by Sega. Uh, because I don't believe in uh, taking other people's IP or other people's inventions and packaging them um, as their own or packaging them in a way that denies the person who created that IP the do um, – how do I put that? I try. My brain is is kind of locking up. I don't. I don't like stealing their product. I don't think. I don't believe in that idea. If if a company, for in this case Sega, um, creates a thing, and then bootlicker bootlickers bootleggers make their own product. Without Sega's permission, without all the contract obligations that come with that, without all of the, hey, we get a portion of that profit for selling or licensing fees and whatnot, uh, so that Sega is still making uh, money to that they can turn around and use to improve their business. I don't believe it. I don't believe in it. I don't want anything to do with it. So I have a hard time committing to buying something online when I know, like, on Amazon, for instance, when I know it's not a product that's officially licensed. 
I know other people have a different feeling on that, and that is up to them. I can't tell them what to do. I can't tell them how to feel, what kind of way to feel about these things. I believe that for myself. Um, so I actually was able to finally get Knuckles uh, from the product innovation uh, product uh, uh, accessory innovations uh, line. Now, as of right now, this is complete. This uh, this particular the backpack collection. However, I have heard rumors of um, a classic Amy backpack, or possibly a modern Amy. I can't remember which, but I believe it was classic Amy backpack being made so that you can fit oh so little in the little backpack area because apparently that's how we work. We only want a very little bit of room in these things, but whatever. It's, it's, it's fine. And I, I display it as a collector item anyway, so it's not in that, any actual, any real active use. So I was, it's so big, it, I can't even fit it on the screen. So that is that. <laughs> Speaking of, oh, I had to, it's so big, I had to put it down there. So, if you've seen my videos in the past, both my update videos and the video that relates to this particular line, you'll know that I collect the Great Eastern Entertainment uh, Sonic lines that they are coming out with, and I'm always trying to find more and more. Well, I've been collecting the you know 11 to 14 inch plushes, the little, the smaller ones. And I boo booed, and I'm gonna have to rebuy this uh, in the smaller one so that I have a complete set of them. But um, I saw one of the characters in a 21 inch plush form, and I was not expecting how big this thing was. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna display it because I don't have the room. This is kind of real, part of the reason why I don't buy the real big plushes, is I don't have a lot of room to work with, even though I've gotten new shelving systems. So. <laughs> I've got Rouge the Bat in this huge, huge, I, I can't even fit it in the screen like I normally would. This thing is so big, and I, I got a little buzz there, uh, so big, I, I just, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to get the smaller version of it so I have some consistency. I, I'm like trying to figure out how to display this properly. It does it's so big, it doesn't even have their typical hang tag, the little gold hang tag that they'll usually have. Because I think if they did, it would just after a few weeks it would just rip right off and fall. And I think they did that on purpose, because it is heavy. So I mean, my goodness, Vector wasn't even as big. And that was not a it's okay though. It's okay. Um I know this is kinda hard to see. It's huge. Oh my goodness. It takes up like two shelves. Good lord. I didn't even see that before. I'll run up a little bit more so you can see the full thing. We're not going to make that mistake again. But at the same time, now that I have her in the 21 inch form, I have to have the others in the 21 inch form. So I've just doomed my uh, income to buying these real big ones every so often. Man. I can't believe I made that mistake, but that's okay. It happens. It happens. So um, now let's let's uh, take a different view and start looking at the smaller items that I was able to get. Um, this month for my collection. Okay, so let's take a look at what I got for my little small bits and pieces of the collection. So now I, I did go to, like I said, I did go to Build-A-Bear. And um, as you probably saw, I couldn't get any of the other um, accessories that came that come with buying these, the uh, Sonic plushes that they had. Um, but I was able to at least get this one. Um, I'm kind of sad. I had to wait longer than I would have liked to to buy those sets, and I probably would have had Tails and Knuckles had I thought ahead of time, but we didn't do that, and this is what we ended up being able to get. So just a plush, 
and this shirt. I couldn't even get his shoes, so he's going to be forever barefoot in, uh, as it is. So, oops. But I was able. It's a neat little shirt. I can't. The reason why it's not on him is because I can't figure out how to put it on him. So, I don't know if that was something I was supposed to do before I had him stuffed or what the case is. I don't know how any of this works as far as Build-A-Bear goes. It was a very strange experience, but I, I see what they were doing. They were trying to they were trying to make it fun for the kids, but they should have realized I was a collector. That's okay. That's okay. So, also from Accessory Innovations, I was able to get accessory yeah i was able to get this tails which i did not have a tails before so now i do and he looks right ticked off a little bit there but he is smiling the the, the stitching in the smile is a little off uh, through the seam but it's all good i you know it's like i don't mind it it's fine but this is one of those ones that has a little zipper in the back. You can put like a coin or something in. Coin, maybe a chapstick or something. It's not, it's nothing, it's nothing big. Little backpack thing. So I was able to get that. Um, and then, let's see. Oh, because I collect Funko stuff. I was able to finally, finally, I've been trying to get this for several years, get the Funko Pez. Now, I'm a little irritated with the people I bought these from because you see see all of this crap here. They actually put the label right over the thing instead of like putting it on the bottom. Um, and I sent away for this, so there was no reason for that. So if anybody knows a good way to get this off, because it is it is sticky. And I don't like it. Um, and I'd like to have a clearer view. If, there's any, if anybody knows a good way to get this off that's not going to damage the, the uh, plastic, please let me know in the comments. And I will see about that because I want to get that off and I want it to view better. Um, I'll wait. <laughs> so I was able to get that. And then I didn't think I would run into these because... I only saw, ever saw them reported being seen in Walmart. Um, and that is, uh, and I don't really go into Walmart. I'm not a big fan of Walmart, although I want that tornado item. I did not get that, spoiler alert, uh, because they won't ship it to me. They, I have to specifically take a trip to the Walmart it's at, and uh, that trip is kind of out of the way. But I did find these... Um, hand sanitizers. Uh, two of them I got more a little bit more recently. The shadow I got the same day as I went to the fan event for the movie, because uh, I happened to stop. There's a GameStop right near there, and I happened to uh, just go in there while I was waiting for my roommate to show up for the uh, for the. Because I was there like 45 minutes early, so I needed to kill some time. But I got shadow, and then on a recent trip to the mall, I was able to find Amy. And Knuckles, the only one I haven't gotten is Sonic, and I think there's a Tails one. And I think, I think the Sonic one actually has two poses, if I'm not mistaken. So I might be. They, two of them were on clearance. I might be able to get the other two. I'm gonna try and run into them, but I, I can't. You know, I can't um, make any promises on that. I would love to have the full set, but. Being what it is, I, I don't know that that's going to be quite possible. I just hope because there is sanitizer in them, I just hope that it does when it goes bad, it doesn't start leaking and doesn't start popping through. I will not be particularly happy if that happens. We're going to keep an eye on them, though. So this, this is kind of cool. Oh, you know what? One more accessory innovation one. I got Mighty... I happen to see him hanging there in Tokyo, and I had to have him. So Mighty is in my collection again. I don't get this though. Why? Why can I get under his? Uh, mm. Now this was interesting because even though, no, no, it's still kind of the same size. Okay, I I hadn't checked that before, but um, 
got mighty. I saw him there, and I had to have him because uh, they're so. I mean, they're doing a little better now between Jack Specific and and um, you know several other things with uh, this particular character, but uh, it's not it's not as um, he's not as available as y we might want him to be. So I had to pick him up just to make sure I have him, and it's kind of cool because I can hang him because of this. Uh, this clip, so this is a backpack clip, um, with the other ones, other accessory innovation ones. So I'm happy to have that. Uh, let's see, I did these. I did the Pez dispenser. Yes. Yes, I need to. I need to do those. Okay, so McDonald's, of course, has the. Um, has the Sonic promotion for the toys and some, apparently some other thing too. Um, and it's really cool because my coworker, what she'll do is she'll get, um, she will get uh, dinner for both of us while we're working together uh, because, you know, it's so hard to, to sit down and actually make something and bring something to work. So she'll use DoorDash to get, uh, uh, dinner for the both of us and i keep offering to pay her but the, hmm, it doesn't work that way apparently she just like i don't care I'm like all right so i was like i went and got a happy meal and she was like oh my god you got a happy meal and so in that happy meal i was able to get tails now i don't have the heart to open these yet i kind of want to try and see if i can get the complete set so i can just uh, these will eventually be open but what i want to do is get the complete set before I open them and uh, be able to just display them, get one of those tiered type displays and not just enough room to fit all of them. Um, and then open them so I can display them properly. Plus they're wheeled, so. Um, but I did get, let's see, can I get this thing out of the way? Oh, come on. See, they put the instructions. Wow. I cannot get that. Okay, wow. Well. Is it stuck to them? No. Uh, I, I know people are probably screaming at their screen. Just open them. I don't want to. Not yet. I will. Oh my god. Kind of. Well, kind of. Sort of. <laughs> but got tails on his little cloud racer uh, thing, and then. And then we got the Eggman robot again. This was my coworker uh, buying me a Happy Meal, having it delivered. All right. And then the last uh, stint in it. Apparently, I didn't even know. I thought these were UK only. Then we got these things. I haven't even really opened this yet, so let's do that right now. Hey, impromptu unboxing. So what is this? this open? It does open. Oh. What does it do? What does it do? I don't understand how this works. Maybe the instructions. Oh! Oh, it's a little board game. Oh, I think I... Okay, I think I understand. So, this is, I, this is what I didn't see before. So, it comes with these three discs. And I think what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to insert them up here. And then you're supposed to hold this vertical so that they drop through. Okay, I understand now. I was wondering what the heck, and now that I see how it works, okay, okay. That's kind of cool. That's a neat little thing. Okay. You got me to, you got to see me figure a thing that, that the target audience probably figured out long before I ever showed up. Okay, so we got that toy. 
And then I have been doing the pins of the month uh, from Sega Shop. So I did. These are the last two items. So I did get Knuckles. Um, and uh, I believe it's Tails this month for the month of April. And then they had this one up there. This was this must have been their last pin of the month that they did. Um, it doesn't even have a backing to it, but um, I don't know because th this was listed on the Sega Shop. Oh, these aren't the last two items. I'm so sorry. I have three more items after that. But anyway, as I was saying, this must have been one of their previous pin of the month runs. Um, I really like it, though. I would like to see if they come out with more or they uh, come up with more. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow, we got a 30-minute video. Got so, yeah, I got a lot this month. You see how I am? All right. And then, finally, I have added to my drinkware. So, uh, this is all from the Sega shop. So, I was able to find or are able to grab onto this, uh, what they call a color block mug. But it's got Sonic Knuckles and Tails on it in block form, apparently. I guess that's why they call it Color Block. This is a really neat one. I'm trying to figure out how I need to display it to show it off. Um, and then, <laughs> I was in... I got this. Now, I bought this, I uh, believe, off of the Sega shop. But it may have been Amazon. I don't remember. But uh, I got this guy... And it was funny because yesterday when I went and saw the movie again, so that was uh, Sunday, the fir uh, May 1st, uh, I saw this again in Box Lunch Gifts, and I almost, almost forgot I had for, uh, already purchased this online and already had it in my hot little hands, and I almost bought a second one. Uh, and mind you, if I had bought a second one, I would have just used that one as another coffee cup, uh, and then this one, of course, for the collection itself. Um, so that's a pretty cool one that I got. Oh, and then the back side of it, just in case I haven't uh, shown it off yet. So, very exciting stuff. <laughs> i got some work to do today to arrange things. And then I thought I was going to miss it. I honestly, for real, thought I was going to miss this. But I went ahead and I was able to get the 30th anniversary mug from the Sega shop. I'm very happy to have this. Uh, because I, I, it sold out almost immediately, as I recall, and I wasn't able to get it right away, but I was able to get it. I saw it came back in stock and I just immediately picked it up. It wasn't even a question. I was like, you know what? Uh, screw anything else I wanted to get. I'm getting this. So it is mine now. And no, none of these mugs that I have shown will be used. These are display only. And I'm trying to figure out a display for them. I know they... Oh, excuse me. I know I've seen a couple of really nice mountable displays uh, on Etsy a few times. However, I can't really mount that display in an apartment like I'm in. So um, I'm trying to find a temporary solution for it right now. They're kind of all sitting behind me on that shelving unit. You probably saw it off to my right-hand side. Um, but that, I finally got it. I absolutely love it. I'm hoping to get more. I want to get those cutting boards that are on there as well. All right. That is all I got for you this month for the April update. Um, I've been a little busy this month collecting, as you can see. And, uh, I've already started buying things for... The May update, so <laughs> we're already ahead of schedule on that. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can get my hands on this month uh, to throw into this an update. Uh, be looking out for that update uh, after the 1st of June, April, May, June. My God, it's already going so, so fast. This year I turned 42. In fact, that happened on the 27th, and as of... This recording, that was almost a week ago. So I've been 42 for almost a week now. <laughs> um, so, Joy, um, that's right. I'm going to be a little old man with, little, with a little walker 
uh, in 30 years with just a house full of nothing but Sonic collectibles. I think I'm okay with that. Um, so, we will see you soon. Have a great month. And if you can't, man, I'm going to tell you, Sonic the Movie, Sonic the, uh, Sonic the Movie, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 doing so, so well in theaters right now. I think, I think after... Uh, Wednesday, I think we have one more week of it being in theaters because it's only, it's usually about a four week run, six if they really want to push it. Uh, and it's only been in theaters for about 23 days. Man, let's give, let's give that movie a great send off. We've already beaten its own record of, of, uh, being the highest grossing video game movie in the U.S., which is phenomenal. I want to see a $400 million uh, profit from this, or not profit, but uh, box office from this. And remember, that is plausible because there are certain areas where it still hasn't been released. So I think, I think if we, if we uh, really went after it, I think, I think we could. I mean, I've already seen the movie seven times. I'm planning on another three at least. Uh, if I catch it a, a final time and I happen to be at 11 or 12, I'm not going to be bad. So have fun. Happy collecting. Be safe out there. And we will see you soon. Be looking for uh, the remaining videos for my uh, going through my collection in general. Um and uh, I'm, I'm hoping to get that soon. I'm probably not going to start recording that until next week, uh, just because I'm going into my work week as of tomorrow, and it's going to be I'm just going to be wiped out. Uh, that's another thing that's kept me from making these videos is the wipeout. Otherwise, everyone have a great one, and we will see you soon. And thank you for watching.